shot Are you looking for authentic? If you are, then stop Cause you probably will regret it This ain't no synthetic No synthetic If they ready, we'll let you know But you should go and get them We got fat, we got crew Never slack on the brew For OGs and the you You can kick it with us too Technology What's up, everybody? Welcome to Kicknology. I'm your boy Truth, and if this is your first time on my channel, welcome, man. You could be watching anybody's channel, anybody's page, anybody's content, but you're right here rocking with your boy in 2021. I appreciate you guys, and if you are a reoccurring subscriber, thank you guys so much for allowing me to use my platform, my love for sneakers, to do what? Bring glory and honor to Christ. And what I mean by that is, for all you newcomers, if you click on this link right here, it's going to be two playlists. The Word and Jays and Truth Tuesday, every Sunday and Tuesday, I take the Word of God and I connect it with these sneakers to let you guys know how much God absolutely loves each and every one of you. Scroll to some of the content if you like what you see. You already know what you need to do. You need to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. It helps the channel grow, get my content to more viewers, and also turn the notification bell so you can get notified anytime I drop any video now today's video is going to be really 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 special this is going to be the best unboxing that i've ever done on this channel maybe not to you maybe not to you but for me this is going to be the best unboxing because in 2010 this is a sneaker that i struck out on for a lot of us that collect shoes and that we're into the sneaker game it's always that one sneaker that got away and then we see it and we see it we just don't want to pull the trigger maybe it costs too much but it got away and then we finally have opportunity to get it and we finally get it in hand and it just means everything so i wanted to open up this sneaker with you guys you guys have seen plenty of reviews i'm not gonna go in depth about the technology of the sneaker i just wanted to share this experience with you guys this moment with you because you know what this is officially one of my grails and i have it in my collection paid a little bit over retail for it shout out to my kick sick his link will be down in my description section for allowing me to get this pair i really really appreciate it so i wouldn't have to go crazy buku amount for it but you know what i probably actually would have paid a crazy amount for the sneaker so let's all the talkings out the way let's go ahead and get right up into it as you guys can see right here we have this box here as I open this up, man, you know, comment down below and let me know what what sneaker is your grail. Did you do you have in your collection? Was you able were you able to get it for retail or did you have to pay a little bit more for it? And if you paid a little bit more for it, how much did you pay for it? You know what I'm saying? Let me know below in the comment section. Um, y'all seen the thumbnail, so y'all already know what this is. But it's just this right here means a lot. It is January the fourth today. And you know, January 26th is slowly creeping up on us. And it, it was a, such a sad day when we lost my boy Kobe. So this shoe right here is just lost for words, man. So you guys see right here, y'all see that Kobe logo, that black Kobe box, that Mamba box. <sighs> man, like, this is gonna be, man, just size 12 which is my personal size. Like I said, I did pay a little bit of a retail for these things. We have the Kobe 6 Pro Tro Green Apple Black Boat Crimson. Retail was 180. Let's go ahead and do like we always do. You know what? Let's not do like we always do. I'm gonna open it up myself and I just want, let, let's just, let's just get this. 2010, I struck out. Man. Bruh, the Grinch Kobe's. Y'all see them right there. It's nothing like them, man. Like, such an amazing shoe. Such an iconic shoe for who I consider the GOAT, the greatest to ever do it, Kobe. A must have if you are a Kobe lover. A must have if you are a sneaker fan, in my opinion, man. Y'all see that shoe right there. Let me go ahead and, I mean, just look at the details on it, man. This shoe is absolutely gorgeous, amazing, and on fire, bro. Like, the fact that I'm holding this shoe right now in my hand, it just, I'm lost for words, bro. Like, uh, dude, such an amazing shoe. I can't wait to put these on feet. I was super excited, as you guys can see back here, when I got the Bruce Lee Kobe's. But, man, like, this is just, like, 
this is surreal for me so y'all already know what it is it's the pro trolls which is the upgraded version of the retros of this shoe that dropped in 2010 it's a little bit of difference between this pair and the 2010 pair i'm not going to get off into those details but you know i do want to talk about a couple of things when it comes down to the sneaker we know that we have the red laces in them and then like i said just overall just a very dope shoe man so when we think about this shoe it came out this year and um i've really been asking a question myself the question um did these shoes drop just because kobe passed away because it's been so long we've been waiting for the shoe to retro and two three four thousand dollars depending on who had the sneaker if you was trying to get this shoe since 2010 it was very hard to get and then you know kobe passed away and they hit us with this and it's sad that it took him passing away for us to be able to get this sneaker again but like i said i'm so blessed blessed and thankful that i'm able to add this sneaker to my collection i will wear this shoe i'm gonna wear it this friday for the first time and i will rock the heck out of the shoe it is not a christmas sneaker to me this is gonna be an everyday sneaker and if they drop down in price i will cop me another pair to ice them y'all see that bottom y'all see that mamba logo just an overall amazing amazing shoe um i know vanessa bryant says she's gonna do more about getting these shoes into more people's hands still waiting to see what that looks like and i hope she followed through with that um i know snikey and vanessa has blessed a couple of people with them salute to them for doing that but my wish is is that nike would just make this shoe more readily available i mean i've seen a couple of people that did some videos and they were talking about actually doing like a sign up you pay for it and you've got to wait three four months even a year before you can actually get your hands on this shoe i think people will be okay with that i know i would if i could just pay retail and they say hey you know what truth you're not gonna get this shoe until four years from now i would be okay because i've been waiting since 2010 to actually get this shoe man such an amazing individual. Um, Kobe did so much for the game. He taught us so much in life. He taught us his mamba mentality that just that a lot of us live by. Y'all already know um, the vibes when it comes to Kobe. I have, you know, if you look up here, I have the mamba mentality mantra there. I got the Kobe picture there. You know, it's just all about, you know, what he what he inspired me and you know just motivated me to do in my life and i really really appreciate the legacy that he left and most importantly man for nike dropping these shoes again even though i had to pay a little bit more to get these things i got so many shoes behind me and you know it was nothing to drop a little bit extra to get these shoe man you guys let me know down below if you were able to get your hands on these but these are must cop for you um are you reselling them man if you are man come on bro like please tell me please let me know that you're reselling them for a good reasonable price that you can get people that can actually get them th their hands on this shoe i just feel like this is a sneaker that everybody should have the opportunity to get at a reasonable price man we should not be profiting off it but that's just my opinion because you know what i did pay resale for this sneaker comment down below let me know where does this shoe sit on your top 10 is this a grab for you to me this is definitely number two on my list it's only one other shoe in this world that goes above this one to me and that is the chicago jordan one that is my favorite shoe of all time and then right after that would be the grinch kobe's man very very dope shoe man so as always i appreciate you guys tuning in rock what you like not what's hype wash them hands man and remember these shoes behind me this shoe right here they're just bait a way for me to share my faith man y'all be blessed i'm gone faith hard work and dedication is the means if they fresh out the box then you gotta keep them clean there's that knowledge in your wall when you step on the scene technology ain't no apology don't make it hard man it ain't trigonometry